Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a Friday time waster in the shop. And I love these. And today I'm happy to report it wasn't a time waster. But first things first. Don't forget to tonight, guys, on the other channel, the Rosie Murphy channel, we will be doing teeny weeny baking tonight. And I'm going to be making Death by Chocolate for my wonderful friend and long-suffering hangout moderator, Greg Campbell, by request. And if you don't know what Death by Chocolate is, you should know what it is, okay? It is chocolate everywhere. It is chocolate whipped cream. It is chocolate pudding. It is chocolate cake. It is chocolate ganache on top. Death by Chocolate. Well, if you're a chocoholic... <laughs> like Missy Jen is, then this cake is right up your alley. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a triple layer cake tonight. Make sure you're on the Rosie uh, Murphy channel. I don't start baking till midnight on the East Coast, 9 p.m. on the West Coast, because this kind of baking isn't for kids, okay? It's for us grown-up adults. Grab a few adult beverages. Hang out on the hangout and have a good time tonight, 9 p.m. Make sure you check it out, Rosie Murphy channel. Now, I am happy to report, you know, I've been working on this Harmon Cardon circa 19, I think it's probably 1978, 330C from Japan. I love Harmon Cardon products. They are just outstanding, they're great. They, uh, their sound quality, the components that they use in the build are really good. Well, if you were with us in part one, we had a very baffling situation here where I would get output and really nice output on the MP3, the auxiliary output for the tuner and on the phono output. But when I went to turn it to the tuner AM or FM, I got nothing. It was totally dead. You know, I went through a whole protocol of testing here. Uh, one of my good friends, Drew, suggested check the power to the uh, tuner board. Make sure that that's okay. That checked out good today. I got the big, uh, the big power transformer here. And that just takes 120, 120 volts on one side of the iron core and pulls off various step-down taps on the other side for lower voltages needed to drive things like the amplifier board like the tuner board, uh, the uh, tone board, those various things in the power supply board, they all need to be powered off of that uh, transformer. So I was a little fearful that maybe that transformer had gone bad. What in fact had happened though, was one of the uh, uh, capacitors on the tuning board had gone bad, and I went ahead and took the opportunity to uh, change that out today. But the result that well i'll let you guys hear in a minute but let's come down to the board and see what i uh changed out time waster friday i don't think so today we got a really nice unit that uh is coming to life and then plus i'm excited for the weekend too right <laughs> as you guys can tell plus it's sunny today so come on down to board side let's check it out it's kind of it's always very frustrating when you're trying to figure out why you're not getting follow through on the circuitry. Uh, in this case, this tuner, this is the uh, tuner uh, board here. And I'm hoping this integrated circuit is still good because that's going to be tough to find, uh, tough to find that little IC. But in just doing a visual inspection and testing, I noticed that uh, this uh, cap here is uh, this capacitor here it looks like uh, it is really kind of exploded if you can see it right here it's like it's blown its shell off there so what I'm going to do is change that one out I might change out a few more on the unit too and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that that's the uh, that's the offending unit because I'm getting zero continuity through that at uh, all so um change that out keep your fingers crossed and take a look at that that uh that's also out of round too that's very misshapen like it blew out the side there okay so that uh that value looks like it's what at 220 so i pulled some 220s here so let's go ahead and replace that one 
Okay, there we go. We laid in our new cap here, and this one was uh, this one wasn't measuring real good either. So uh, it was a 47 microfarad. This was a 220. So keep your fingers crossed. Let's put a little fire in the hole and see what we get. Okay, now whenever you replace caps, I like to put things on the variac, which means that I can bring up the uh, power very slowly. Just in case I have something that's potentially shorted out. I'm pretty sure I don't, so let's put the power on here. Let's put the juice to her, and let's keep our fingers crossed. I think we're on... Yeah, we got this set to uh, FM, FM stereo here, so let's go ahead and give her a shot. Let's bring it up to about uh, 70 volts. Let her idle there a minute should come out of I'm not sure if this has a protective relay I don't even have a schematic yet I'm not really hearing anything yet oh man oh there we go got something got something Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. Let's stop and put an antenna on for a minute. Wow, well, did you ever have one of those days where everything goes right? Look, now the power button lights work. <laughs> Holy smokes. That sound nice? Good balance. It's the year for real. Oh, I am very happy. Still needs a little, still needs a lot of work, but I'm really happy. I don't know if the tuning meters work in that. I, it's hard for me to tell because I got no light there. and clean. upset let's try am care for president trump's personality that's a ksro amm and, and fm they broadcast, broadcast, broadcast on am and fm but he's been Not president bad. now am is a little weak I hope nobody snapped that thing off, the internals on that. You never know. Not much on AM. Just real powerful local. Mexican station. Completely uh, separated at birth. But that, that FM. All right. And just like that, guys, changing at a few uh, caps, we are back in the game.
HK330C from Harmon Carden lives again. Don't forget bacon tonight, Friday night foodies. The Murphy Channel for teeny weeny bikini bacon. Thumbs up for appreciating. <laughs>